everybody. I uh, wanted to just uh, drop a line and say hi and uh, maybe take uh, just a couple of minutes and review this past Sunday's message uh, just to kind of provoke your thinking and maybe remind you a little bit. This past week we talked about disruptions and how that obviously we're all experiencing them right now and disruptions are things that we don't have control of. They kind of take us off guard and we find ourselves really not feeling in control. Part of our conversation was about where disruptions come from. And I know some people like to talk about what God is doing. Some people like to talk about what the devil is doing. Some people like to talk about this just happening. And the reality is, is that the scripture shows us that all three of those things can be true. That God sometimes disrupts our lives, although God is not the source of evil. Sometimes the devil disrupts our lives because he wants to interfere. And sometimes life just happens. It's uh, We live in a world that is imperfect and uh, things don't always go right. And they're not necessarily God. They're not necessarily the devil. They're just life. And it seems to me that's probably what really is going on right now with what we're dealing with COVID-19. And so the important thing, though, is to realize that when these things happen, um, we're tested in different ways. One of the things is that our character gets tested. Uh, what kind of people are we when we're not in control and when our lives are disrupted? Are we the kind of people who display the character of Jesus and the fruit of the Spirit? Are we patient? Are we kind? Are we gentle? Or are we aggressive and selfish and, uh, and self-centered? The second thing is that it reveals our values. I think that with changes in work and changes in schedules, uh, we have the opportunity to use our time differently. And some of that can really reveal what the most important things are to our lives. And the third thing that it does is it presents the opportunity for God to work in our lives. And that's the part I really want to focus on for the next minute is that uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, uh, verse, mm, verse 9, uh, says this. Uh, this is Paul praying, and it says that God said to him, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And in these times, these are times where we need to realize that God's grace and his power are available on our lives. He is there to help us. He's there to sustain us. And we need to respond to all of this by putting our trust in him more than anything else. Hope you have a great day.